the 1.1 release, uh, it's really kind of focused on usability. One of the main features that was just added was a graphical user interface to Bitbake, which is the, uh, the driving tool that drives the build system. And um, having a graphical user interface so that we can then build upon really kind of lowers the barrier to entry for Yocto and for embedded Linux in general. One of the other things that we're doing is uh, aligning ourselves with Open Embedded and the 1.1 release is really the first release in which we, the first official release in which um, Open Embedded Core has been also the core of the Yocto project. One year in, what I've seen grow with the project really is the participation from all of the different companies that have been, uh, have been part of the advisory board because that's one of my focuses as the community manager. And to the, just the, the ability to see these companies that normally compete with each other coming together and cooperating with each other in, uh, in this really collaborative way in places where they can then differentiate later is, is a really positive thing. And it has taken a year, I think, for them to really get comfortable with each other. And now it's a, it's a very collaborative effort. Next we're doing our 1.2 planning, which is going on right now. It's all out on the wiki and open and transparent. And there are several hundred uh, feature requests that we're kind of sifting through. The major focus that we're doing, again, is usability and um, really, like I said, lowering the barriers to entry.